Hello, I'm Beth the Builder. Hope everyone's doing well and staying cool. So this is uh, something a bit different. Beth the Builder's what not to do. So I think I cover a lot of things where I think people need to dive in and do that thing and try. And I would say this is examples where people should have uh, dove in less. Maybe tried less hard. <laughs> All of these things you're gonna see are in my house that I experienced either fixing and or are still there and it's horrible. And if you're not doing any of them, if you've never even gotten close to repairing something in any of these ways, two thumbs up. Good job. Keep doing what you're doing. If you have gotten even slightly close to repairing something in one of these ways or thinking about it, I think you need to reevaluate how much DIYing you're doing alone, unsupervised, in your own home. I'm looking at you whoever you are. So without further ado, let's go see what not to do. But buckle up, you're gonna be disappointed. Okay, first things first, don't paint electrical wiring, plumbing, ductwork. I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't have to say any of this. Like it should just be common sense that you shouldn't paint these things, but it's totally not because all of it was just free game in my house apparently. All right, don't cut holes in beams or framing or studs to run wiring and plumbing through. Okay, don't do that. I feel like no one should have to stop you and be like, hey, hey man, don't do that. Okay, you should just know, hey, that doesn't seem like a good idea. W what house have I ever been in that has had holes through studs and framing? Okay, when, when has that ever happened? Oh, never? Well, then I'm not gonna do that either. Alrighty, real quick, I'm gonna interrupt myself um, to announce that next week, July 2, that Friday, I'm gonna be doing my first live stream to celebrate my one year anniversary of making videos. It's a pretty big deal, woo! So, um, come celebrate with me. It'll be July 2, five o'clock central time. So yeah, come and ask me questions. I'll do a project, show you around my house. Alrighty, back to you, Beth. So this was a chronic problem in my house, was painted face plates and electrical outlets and switches. So for whatever reason, apparently the solution when painting was to just slop paint all over that stuff. Just don't even bother maybe taking out a couple screws to then paint around it. No, 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 no. Just paint it. Just get that paint in there. Just, yeah, just, yeah slop that paint on there. Do it. That apparently was the best solution that these people could come up with. So please don't do this. It looks sloppy and weird and dumb and like, what are you doing? So I've seen like a DIY like hack for, um, it was spray painting outlets. Like not just like the face plate, but like the actual outlet. They're like, yeah, spray paint it. Don't do that. What are you doing, you stupid bimbo? I mean, I kind of get the faceplate thing because it's like you're just too lazy to take a couple screws out or something or no one's ever told you that th those screws come out or something. I don't understand exactly, but I can more quickly understand the laziness of that than literally a DIY hack telling you to spray paint, to spray paint into an outlet where electricity is flowing. I mean, you, what, I, I, it just blows my mind, okay? Alrighty, this is the ceiling in my porch. And if you've been following a lot of my videos, you'll know that I have done several videos on my porch remodel. So this ceiling is the last thing in my porch that I have not redone or refinished or repainted or anything. And as you can see, it kind of needs some TLC. So don't install a ceiling if you don't know how to do that, okay? If you need to use caulk or tape or paint or whatever the heck is on the ceiling, if you need to use any of those things to get the ceiling up, you probably don't know what you're doing and you probably should just stop and just take a step back and be like, I don't need to do that project. 
and that's okay too, okay? I promise that's okay. Also, I'm pretty sure they make ceiling tiles to be installed extremely simply. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you need very limited skills to install a ceiling like this. I don't know, because I've never done it, but I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that the instructions would not say you need to use caulk or putty or tape or paint to install it, okay? I'm just, that's just like my best guess, okay? Just spitball in here. I'm, I'm assuming that's not the right way to do it. So please don't install ceilings if uh, you don't know what you're doing. I mean, please don't. So these next two things I can only show you in picture because they were so stupid and horrible that we fixed them immediately in our house. So the first thing is fixing things with duct tape, okay? There's a weird obsession with duct tape and DIYing. Maybe because of the Red Green show. Yeah, I know what that is, okay? So there were two things in my house that were fixed with duct tape both in the same area. Very strange, right? Wrong! It was not strange. No, it was actually still very strange. The first thing that was fixed with duct tape I think is a relatively common fix for plumbing. I'll show you a picture, but just bear with me, okay? It's so horrendous. The plumbing under our kitchen sink was entirely duct taped up and then some kind of weird silicone putty or something was spread all over it in attempt to fix this kitchen sink plumbing. I don't even know what to say. Like, look, look at it. Do you know what to say about this? I don't know why this is a fix or who thought that was a good idea. I mean, I literally just did a whole video about you can get like waterproof putty for these types of fixes so even if there is a little fix and you don't really know how to fix it because I don't want to shame people for not knowing what to do about a problem I just think that sometimes the first thing that comes in your head is maybe not the the gem that you want to go with okay maybe duct tape just bear with me isn't the fix for that problem I don't know maybe a bunch of tape and putty isn't going to get you where you need to go just just a thought, okay? I get having the idea, duct tape, but then maybe just take it like one more step and be like, hmm, is that really gonna fix my problem? And if the answer is probably not, then maybe, maybe just take another step back and be like, okay, I think I can come up with something better. That's just me, okay? But, I, I mean, I feel like this kitchen sink just speaks for itself. Like that plumbing, oh boy. So the second thing in the vicinity of my kitchen sink that was fixed with duct tape was the windowsill that's right above the kitchen sink. I don't know why, but there was duct tape all along the wooden sill. I don't know why, because as I was, you know, scraping old paint off, trying to figure out what the heck was going on, I realized there was duct tape there, which then I just peeled up. And I wondered, why the heck is there duct tape there? <laughs> what is happening? And we had just bought this house and I was like, oh my God, this house is being held together with duct tape and, and putty. What have we done? <laughs> but it seemed to be just those two odd things. I mean, there's, as I'll do, I mean, I could do several of these videos and I mean, they would just all be like dumbfounding. You'd be like, why? Why that? I don't know. But yeah, so uh, I don't have a great picture of um, that because it was just like, I, I was working as, as I was finding it and I was just like, I don't even know what to do with this. I'm just gonna peel it off and paint it, paint the window sill and go from there. Like, why would duct tape be the thing to repair a wood sill? Also, there was nothing wrong with it. So many questions. The, the previous three or four owners of my house, I have a lot of questions for. Like, a lot. I hope the people who buy um, our house 
in the future sometime don't come across any of the repairs that I've done and think to themselves, what the f Okay, I feel like that's probably enough cringy um, what not to do's because, I mean, one can only take so much of this stuff. It is hard to look at. I hope you enjoyed some of the dopey, weird, um, confusing fixes that people have done in my home, and I'm sure you've run across some of your own. Let me know in the comments below some weird fixes that you've come across in your home, because I guarantee every homeowner has a story or two. So any way that you can support me is, you know, obviously appreciated. That seems like a cliche of YouTubers to say, but it genuinely is appreciated by me. So whether that's like just going and being some traffic and liking something in my Etsy shop or following me on social media or very, very directly like checking out my PayPal, kicking me some funds because that's a very direct way that then I can fix something in my home that's really stupid and dopey and then you'll get to see it in a video, I promise. I have new videos every Friday, and I'll see you next week.